Pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and press the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. For today's video, I have my updated perfume collection for 2020. Can we get some like hoorays? <laughs> I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite videos to film annually. I have one for like every single year. I think since 2018 or 19, I don't know, but I'll link the playlist or link all of them down below for you guys to check out if you want to see my old perfume collections because I always show how I organize them too. Not only a perfume haul, but also my entire perfume collection and me organizing all of my perfumes. So stay tuned. First of all, I want to thank Rebel Sense for sponsoring today's video, you guys. They sent me so many awesome perfume you guys know i love finding places where you can get more inexpensive perfumes because i know they can be so expensive and rebel sense has really inexpensive perfumes and they are designer and then they also have like their own um perfumes have an additional coupon code which i'll overlay right here for you guys from rebel sense so not only is it Pretty inexpensive you also get a discount on top of that so if you've been wanting some fragrances for some time I would go check them out but anyway let's get started on the perfume haul I'm going to show you guys this because it's not a perfume but I feel like I just need to show you because it's so cute this is a candle and it says your best friend be like girl you need to calm down and it says if Zen were a fragrance this would be it and this smells like uh, I guess cherry Japanese cherry blossoms it smells really nice I really like it and I can't wait this will be late in the back of my video soon because oh my gosh it's so freaking cute quite a bit of fragrances here we're going to open um, we have some designer ones and then we have some of their boutique ones I'm gonna start off with this one just because I pulled it out first this says pure pink for women and this one's by Karen low Paris this is a parfum scent, so if you guys don't know, um, parfums actually last a lot longer on this skin. And and you guys know I'm a sucker for pink packaging, so this already has my heart singing. So here's what it looks like. Just want to smell this. gonna have to spray it so I'm probably gonna spray it on the on the box here because I don't want to be full of different perfumes mmm okay it's gonna be like that scent you would spray on yourself like after the gym or just probably like on a daily because it's not too strong it's fruity it smells really nice I can't quite pinpoint it's almost like grapes mixed with like strawberries or something, but it just smells very, very good. And again, this is these are perfume, so these will last on the skin. So we have another boutique fragrance, and I was actually very excited about this one because I saw it and I actually hand picked this one. And this says Fancy Pink, and oh my gosh, when you see the packaging of this one, you guys are going to die. So... So freaking cute you guys this reminds me of like it looks like a little like Dior with the bow but of course the Dior does not look like this but you know you get a similar feel but here's what it looks like and it has this precious lid which it looks literally like a jewel and then this is what it looks like when you open it again I'm gonna spray this on the box there we go Okay, this is giving me a bit of musk. This is definitely very, like it's musky, but it's sweet at the same time. You can feel the oil and it's like perfume. This definitely does give me so many like Dior vibes. It has like that muskiness to it, how Dior has. Like, I don't know, it just kind of gives me those vibes and it just... This is the cutest freaking bottle ever. One last uh, boutique fragrance, I think, and the rest are some designer fragrances. So this one is called Delice. 
not not cray. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. So pray for trip. But these will all be linked down below, you guys. Okay, let's see this one. Yeah, the bottle's just white. I thought that the liquid was white for a minute, but it's just the bottle. So this is super. No, didn't shatter very good. This is super luxurious. It feels luxurious. All of these bottles feel very luxurious. All the bottles are glass and they just have a nice feel to them. I love like the studded detailing on this packaging right here. Let's smell this one. Again, I'm just going to spray it on the box. Hopefully it doesn't get on my finger like the other one. Ooh, okay. This one has a more of a, um, it's kind of like sweet, but floral at the same time. So yeah, this is like sweet and florally. So one of my favorite kind of scents. I just want to spray a little bit of this one on my hand. I'm not wearing any perfume right now, so. Oh, I really like how that smells on me. I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but florally and more like mature scents tend to smell very sweet on me. And I like that. I love how this one smells on me. I think I like how this one smells the most out of those three. Although the fancy pink one smells really good too though. And then this one, this one again, I like how it smells, but I just like how the other two smell better. So I have three more fragrances that I'm adding to my collection and I couldn't be more excited because these are all fragrances that I've actually wanted to either replace or add to my collection. So the first one is Gucci Guilty. I've always liked how this smells. I used to work in a Sephora so I know how this smells. Um, Gucci Guilty was quite the hot perfume at a certain point in time. I think it still is. I'm not sure. I don't work there anymore in order to know how many people buy it. but. These are really well packaged too. So this is a, a toilet, which I'm probably butchering how you say that, but yeah. So this is a one ounce. It looks like this. I'll overlay the price that it was here compared to like the original price. And let's see. Oh, I just love this bottle. Love it, love it. So, yes, it's just, it's like that mature, it's like a sexy scent. It's a very sexy scent. I'm just gonna spray the box. Yes, these are the kind of scents I love. Like, I either love really like mature, sexy scents or I like really sweet floral scents. My favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh, it smells so nice. I already knew that I love this because I've smelled it before. I was just so happy to finally get it. And it was such a good price. Such a good price. So next I have Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I also like how this smells because I've smelled it before. And I like the way all of these smell. All of these designer ones. I hate tearing up the packaging. It's so pretty. They even put like the little Dolce & Gabbana sticker. I just love how perfumes look when they're brand new in their box, but I used to like hoard perfume boxes because like I love perfumes. I'm a huge perfume collector and I used to just hoard all the boxes and eventually I just told myself I needed to throw them away. So this is what the Dolce & Gabbana, the one looks like. Again, super beautiful. Mm -hmm beautiful elegant bottle let's spray a little bit okay yeah this is another one of those uh, scents you have to kind of put on yourself to know how it smells I'm just gonna put a little on my wrist and excuse that excuse if you see like myself tanner I just um, tanned or whatever and I know every guru says that but I literally have like a drip here where where um I need to exfoliate so yeah okay this one I this one smells extremely musky so if you don't like musky you're not going to love this one but 
it still smells good. It, it, this one is more of like the super sexy, dark, musky kind of a scent. And this I typically would wear for like a date night or a night out. Explain that, but yeah, that's when I would wear this. And musky scents also take a, a twist of sweetness whenever it comes to my body type. I don't, different perfumes, especially luxury fragrances, they will smell different according to your body scent, like your aroma that you have already. So just make sure that you guys will like spray these on yourselves and stuff. So. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I really love how that smells. It's like a very musky, sweet, sexy scent. Like a dark. Yeah, it has like a hint of vanilla in there. So the last one I've owned before. This is Prada Candy. So I'm so excited to have this again. Because I know I like how this smells. I love sweet scents. But I will admit, this one is very, very, very sweet. So if you don't like extremely sweet scents, I would skip out on this one. But... It is a very nice, sweet, sweet, um, luxurious scent where it's not like body spray, you know, but it just smells really nice. This is Prada Candy, and one thing I can appreciate about this perfume is the packaging because you don't have to remove a lid to spray it, so it's very, very nice. And all you do is literally push down like this to spray it. Oh. This scent reminds me of my Juicy Daily Days, if you guys know what I'm talking about, because this used to be my everyday scent during that time when I started my channel. Oh, it just smells so good. This is like nostalgic. I actually love that. I love it whenever scents have like a good, like nostalgic scent to them. I, oh, I'm so happy to have product candy back and at such a good price. So again, you guys, I'll overlay the coupon here and I will put um, all of the um, perfumes that I just unboxed here, including the candle. So you guys, I'm going to link Rebel Scents down below. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that it's super fun to shop on there because they have like a personality quiz and then you can shop in categories by personality. And they have so many of like fragrances that you can see at like Sephora and Ulta, but a fraction of the price. So again, that will be linked down below. I decided to put these new ones in my collection and like, oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed with these two. Like these are, oh, these are my vibe. These are my vibe. Sweet and girly and musky and just like sexy, but it's like girl boss. Like I love things that are like girl boss. You know what I mean? Like girl boss scents. And to me that's like a sweet musky scent or like a sweet sexy scent. Like stuff with like woodsy notes, but also florals or also like with hints of vanilla those are my favorite kind so ugh, can you just not i cannot i cannot get enough of this packaging in these bottles you guys so pretty this is where i keep my perfumes on my pack system if you guys have not seen a room tour i will link it i'm going to go through all of these as well right now so that you guys know what's in the rest of my collection and then we're going to get into organizing all of these and finding room for the new perfumes. So I'm taking a little break to hydrate. Look at how cute my new Starbucks cup that Manny got me is. I'm so obsessed with it. So. Just keep water in this. And it keeps it really cold. And I just sip all day long. I hadn't emptied my perfumes back there. So I can show you guys my entire collection. The first one I'm seeing here at the top is my Versace Edos. This used to be my everyday back in like 2018 I used to wear this all the time well no it was 2017 actually and this is just a very sexy scent every time I would wear this I would get asked what I'm wearing because it's just really strong to the point like if you whiff your hair or anything like the person next to you will smell it so if that's the kind of scent that you like this is for you this is my mom's favorite scent I get it for her like every single like Christmas and birthday because she loves it so much and so either me or my brother will get it for her, like replace it for her. And as you can see, I use quite a bit of it. I still use it now, but I just don't use it every day. So this one was my everyday fragrance in 2018. And it is literally almost gone. I still use it now as well, especially on date nights with Manny because this is one of his favorite scents on me. This is Chanel Allure. And it just has a very... 
mature but sweetness to it. You guys will notice a pattern. All of my perfumes are like sexy and musky, sweet or floral. I don't really buy citrus or anything like that. Those are not my thing. I personally like how these kinds of fragrances smell on my body more with my body chemistry. Next one I have is Victoria's Secret Love. This is like the original love one. Um, their pink one. It looks like this. And this just smells uh, sweet and floral at the same time. So that's like the best way to explain it. Sexy nighttime scent. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And it looks like this. It's just this like heel. I just feel like this perfume bottle is so sexy in itself. And you spray it here on the back and it comes out through here. And again, this is just the nighttime, a strong, sexy scent. This is pretty much like the same vibe as like Versace Edos. I have a really fun fragrance. This one's definitely, um, you know, a little bit more young and a little bit more, I guess, sweet and florally, but in a young way. Like it's not, it doesn't have like a powdery hint to it, like most luxury fragrances or anything. It just It's just sweet and floral at the same time. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Victoria's Secret Love, except Victoria's Secret Love is more on the floral side than this one. This one definitely has more of a sweetness to it. This one is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Rose. I have one that I do tend to wear on a daily basis a lot. Like I will go like a whole week and I'll just wear this. And this is Ariana Grande's uh, fragrance. Which one is this one? What is it even called? I have no idea, but it's the one in the heart. I don't know what it's called exactly. I'm sure one of you guys knows though. But yeah, this smells so nice. This is just a very, it's a very sweet scent without it being too overpowering. I have one that I'm basically done with. It has like maybe a one or two more sprays in it. This is Prada Candy Floral. This is a very fresh floral scent. It's like one of those out of the shower florally scents. And so I definitely used this up all last summer because I love scents like that for the summertime. And I probably should replace this one. Next, oh, I just popped off a nail. No. No. Why? Okay, so I just popped off a nail, so we're going to ignore that. But anyway, the next scent that I have is Mon Guerlain, and it looks like this this through a recommendation from a friend and this actually this is right up my alley because it's floral and sweet at the same time and I know it sounds like I'm saying that about all of these but I promise you they're all different like they all have different notes and stuff like that like some of them have notes of jasmine some have notes of vanilla so they're all sweet in like different aspects but I don't memorize all of that so I'm not going to sit here and try to guess it's just like a sweet florally musky ish scent and it has it definitely has notes of vanilla for sure in there. It does have notes of vanilla, you guys. It has vanilla, lavender, and jasmine in the Mon Guerlain. So I'm kind of looking up notes. That way I can give you guys more of an idea because I'm horrible at describing scents and I really wish you guys could just smell it through the camera. But you can't. So, moving along. Just imagine how cool that would be. Just imagine you could like press a button to smell it and then you can like smell it through your computer. I'm thinking in the future right now but yeah next I have one that I wanted for so long this is the Valentino Donna fragrance and I've actually seen this at like a few TJ Maxx's and stuff so I'm not sure if it's going on with that this is like a very warm floral perfume and it's definitely a date night perfume it just it's flirty it's warm, it's florally, and like I said, florals tend to smell really sweet on my body. So I really love how any floral fragrance smells, but this one in particular is just extremely warm and like just inviting almost. Next I have my go-to going out fragrance that I wear even now, I like to go out at night. And this is like halfway gone because of that, and this is YSL Black opium and I think I've always shown this in every one of my perfume collections because I always repurchase it because I love it like a spiciness to it it's very warm and very 
very spicy like i don't know how to explain it but it definitely is one of those turning heads kind of a fragrance it does actually have notes of black coffee and it has florals in it which are my favorite and it has vanilla so everything that i love in one like coffee vanilla what florals yes this is like one of my staples next i have my chloe fragrance unfortunately this fragrance the bottle tarnishes so it looks like this but if you get some steel wool and just scrub it it actually comes off it might even come off with the makeup wipe it does come off and like you can definitely clean it but it just gets annoying to like be cleaning it all the time so i just leave it i just leave it be and it's so unfortunate because i love how this smells and like the bottle the bottle is extremely pretty whenever it's not tarnished this one is the roses de chloe because chloe does have a few different ones it's like their florally one it has rose essence and i think it's amber in it and it just i don't know what it is about the amber i think is what it gives it that really unique scent to it i really love this this is my favorite chloe fragrance i've smelled all of them and this one is just i think the best one in my opinion or at least for my taste next i have my victoria's secret bombshell seduction this was my winter scent this past year if you guys watched my videos you would know that i wore this like every single day i think it was even in my vlogmas because i wore it that much and it's just a sexy, very sexy, fresh, but sweet scent. And for some reason, it gives me such winter vibes. And it's probably just because I wore it all winter long. But I just feel like this smells like Christmas to me. This, this reminds me of Christmas. Now we're getting into some of the newer fragrances that I've added to my collection. Um, well, first I have one that's not that new. This is the Misty or Blooming Bouquet. This was like my favorite perfume for a while. I feel like all of these have been like a favorite at one point or another where I'll just wear them every day for like a few months and then I alternate. But this one was my favorite like floral for a long time. This is the Misty or Blooming Bouquet. I mean, obviously the bottle is just like adorable. It's pretty. But this... It smells so florally and fresh at the same time and it actually stays on the skin and I think that's one of the reasons why I would wear it so much. And to be completely honest, I feel like pretty much every fragrance in my collection actually lasts on me because I don't really tend to keep or buy too many perfumes that I know aren't going to stay on for a long period of time because I just don't really like to reapply perfume like that much. So pretty much every perfume in my collection is one of those ones that, you know, people can smell on you with your hair or like it just really is like prominent and it stays on. Rollerball and I just got this. This is the Vic Victoria's Secret First Love one and this is, actually comes in a mint bottle in the full size and it just looks like... Focus. And it looks like this and Charlotte and I actually bought these together because... When we smelled these, we just couldn't get enough. It's like fresh, fruity, and I think it even has citrus in it. This might be the only citrus fragrance I like. Um, it has a little bit of like, it's like fruity, and it's just a very warm, fruity, florally scent, if that makes sense. I don't even know how to explain this scent. It just You just gotta go smell it because it smells good. This fragrance Manny got me for Valentine's this year. This is YSL Lieb. He knows how much I love fragrances that like I can never have enough fragrances. This one I had smelled a while ago while we were traveling and he smelled it and he loved it. So he got me this for Valentine's and oh my gosh this is just the sexiest most prominent perfume. Like if you want something that really stands out go for this one because it is very very unique people will definitely ask you what you're wearing for sure and floral scents except this one has lavender and i believe orange musk in it so that's kind of like why it has such like a unique twist to it i think it's like the orange part of it but you guys if you see this in store or something just like get a little they have little samples because it's new so just grab a little sample and try it out on your skin and see if you like it and then um yeah go find it on one of the websites that everything's discounted girl because i i never buy a fragrance unless it's 
like discounted or I'm getting like five times the points on Ulta or something. Next one is I feel like this, if there's a fragrance to describe me, it's this. Like this is the fragrance that I always go back to. It's the one that I wear the most out of my entire collection and it is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And I mean, the bottle of course is gorgeous. You guys know I'm a sucker for packaging, but this fragrance smells so nice. It is a just such a beautiful, mature, like, it's perfect. Like, it has everything that I could want. Again, on with the trend of the warm florals. This is a warm, florally scent. Um, what can I say? I like my florals. Also, ha this one has orange in it as well, so I think that's something that I must really gravitate towards, and it also has rose in it. So, of course, I mean, how can you not love this fragrance? Like, it just smells so nice. The first time I smelled it in the store, I was sold. I was just like, this is me in a bottle. So, like, if I came out with a fragrance, it would be Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Like I said, I always gravitate towards this one. This is my second bottle so far. I think next time I'm just going to buy, like, the giant one because I use it so much. For fragrances recently and... I just, I've always wanted to try this one in particular for a long time and then this is like their newer one and I just, I couldn't resist so I got it too. But anyway, this one is the Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. This is, I think, just their original one. I'm not too sure but I always saw this one with like the pink liquid and when I smelled it, I just fell in love. Now, I will say that if you're not into mature scents, and you think luxury scents smell like old lady then you probably aren't gonna like this but again like I said you need to spray them on yourself to see how it works with your body chemistry this one is the toilette version not the perfume this is another warm floral it has mandarin and it has rose in it so again I just I thought I didn't really like citrus but the more I keep seeing orange I think I do like citrus but only when it's mixed with floral I don't like citrus on its own if that makes sense this one is my Miss Dior in Roses and Roses and I don't know if you guys have seen this but or smelled this but this mm -hmm. smells amazing of course this is a florally scent I feel like this one has more of a I don't know it has like a tinge of sweetness to it I'm not sure what's in it, but I will probably overlay the notes here because my phone died so I can't look them up anymore, but yes. So just finally repurchased the YSL Mom Paris because this was my staple for a very long time and I love, love, love how this smells. Like, this smells so nice. I No way to explain it. It's like vanilla floral. No way to explain this, honestly. This is another one of those unique scents. I feel like YSL does a beautiful job with their fragrances because the Lieb fragrance is also just incredible and they're so unique and different. So, yes. That is my entire perfume collection. I can't lie. I love them all. Literally every single bottle. Every time I'm like, which perfume do I want to wear? I just have you know, a hard time picking unless it's like, for sure I'm like Mademoiselle, you know, because I go to Mademoiselle a lot, but seriously, I would not have any of these if I didn't like them. And I just love fragrances, like I know it's not normal to own this many, most people own like two or three, but I'm crazy about them and I collect them, so that's my uh, thousands of dollars of perfumes in one video, you guys. Guys, so let's go ahead and get to organizing these perfumes because there is of them to put up there this is my emptied perfume tray i have these little jewels all over it because i thought it looked pretty i found those at the dollar tree surprisingly so i'm going to find a place to set this camera up so we can do a little um time lapse of me organizing these <laughs> So here is the finished organization. I even put my new candle there. And look how pretty. So I literally just organize them by like the 
I guess, tallness of the bottle. Like, I put the tallest ones in the back and then the shortest ones here in the front. And then I kind of hid the Chloe one because the bottle's tarnishing, <laughs> but... Yeah, so that way I can kind of see everything that I have, especially like from above. So yeah, that's my perfume collection, you guys. Okay, so that was everything for my perfume collection. Don't forget to check out Rebel Sense down below for some really inexpensive fragrances. Um, if you stayed until the end, leave me this emoji in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite perfume is down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.